Neil, no doubt you've watched back Tuesday night's game since that victory. How pleased were you with the performance and the game plan, the way it was executed, particularly out of possession? Yeah, I couldn't have been more pleased with the way the players carried out uh, the plan. Um, it took a big physical effort and a lot of intelligence to, as well to do um, what we did. It's a big pitch and the way they play football, it requires you to be fully focused and concentrated for 90 odd minutes and we were. Um, however, when you watch the game back as a coach, you're always looking at the things that we didn't do too well as well. Um, and as ever, we've got areas of the game that I think we can improve upon. Jerry H was the match winner, 14 goals now for this season, which matches the tally he hit last year in League Two. How pleased have you been with the way he stepped up? Yeah, I think Jerry um, epitomises a little bit, um, quite a few of the players in the squad have taken him maybe a little bit of time at the beginning of the season to find his feet at this level. Uh, but then, you know, a new team, new teammates, um, a, a change of club, that can take a bit of time and going up a level as well. But with his mentality and his willingness to work, um, he's grown and grown and he scored goals. And as any striker will tell you, hitting the back of the net helps with self-confidence. And Jerry's in, Jerry's in good form. And um, the biggest compliment I can pay him is when he goes through 1v1 one one with a goalkeeper on Tuesday night, I, I expect him to score. Um, it was a really composed finish. Um, and yeah, he's got quite a few games to go and I'm sure he'll be looking to add to that tally. He's obviously a confident lad anyway and believes in his ability, but did you ever have to sort of like put your arm around him early in the season when he started without a goal in so many games? He was feeling it a little bit. Um, I think it's only natural. Um, strikers live, live off in the back of the net and Jerry wanted to come to Blackpool um, and score goals and be the main man as a number nine and um, he's desperate to do well. In, in his career and so he was feeling it a little bit but you know he, we remained calm uh, he remained calm um, and yeah he's he's like I say he's he's coped he's a, he's adapted and he's now scoring goals and is in, in good form coming out Tuesday night any problems to report or is everybody sort of fine and ready for the weekend no everyone's um, been a okay so that's a that's a bonus when you get um, the news from um, from Stu the physio after the game that um, everyone's uh, reported a clean bill of health that always helps um, so the squad will be very similar to what it was on um, on Tuesday at MK This week's marked a full year without Bloomfield Road being full of fans and it's this sort of game where it really stands out that absence isn't it? Yeah, yeah it does yeah you know I always had that visual picture in my head of my first game just over a year ago now at Fleetwood and obviously our supporters packed the away end um, one corner of the ground and you know we're in full voice all the way through for 90 odd minutes um, they made a made a right racket uh, so us being at home it would have been really nice for us to sample that atmosphere again I'm sure they would have enjoyed um, the away game this season with us winning 1-0 um, unfortunately that wasn't the case and unfortunately it won't be the, the case on Saturday but um, we'll, we'll make sure that when it's 3 o'clock Saturday um, our players will be giving everything to make our supporters happy who come 10 to 5 on Saturday evening. And it's that drive from the terraces that probably missed the last two home games, but even so, still a really good record at home. Yeah, we've had a good home record. Um, obviously, the last two games I'd like to have been a little bit better, and those games are is then when you do pull on this, the strength of the, the support in the ground, that emotional impact that they can have just gives you that extra 2% just when you're coming towards the end of the game and your tiredness is setting in and your heart's pounding through your shirt and well, you know your, your brain's telling you to do one thing, your legs are saying something else and the supporters can make a real difference for you. Um, and yeah, we've, we've, we've missed that. Our, our ground with the form we would have been in would have been full um, and it'd have been right behind us. Um, and that would have been no different on Saturday, but I can assure the supporters will be fighting for them on Saturday.